All right, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3. When we last left off, we raided the Navarre Sand Fortress, and I grinded a little bit. I did get the items I said I wanted. I got, uh, there we go. I got a couple of question mark seeds, which are quite nice. Uh, I will get into what they do later. And I also, by pure luck, got a weapon armor seed. I wasn't expecting that one at all. Uh, what I was after was the question mark, question mark, question mark seeds. I only got two of them. They are a rare drop. I got 28 shade statues, which is the common drop. And then I got two of these and one weapon armor seed, which is like their super rare drop. But that doesn't matter here. Now I'll go into those, what those seeds do when it becomes pertinent. Just remember that I have them and I got them from killing those lesser demons. Let's get our Windrum out of the inventory. Also went ahead and stocked up on a bunch of items <laughs> for the upcoming areas because these areas are rough. So, you know, I think the first place I shall go to is, you can go to any one of these glowing red dots on the screen in any order you want to. Uh, since it's Salamander's Day, I'm not going to the Valley of Flames. That would just be a terrible idea. And since the day after Salamander's Day is Udine's Day, I'm not doing that either. So, yeah, I'm not going to there. So let's go to the Forest of Wonder, because we're not in danger of hitting Dryad's Day. Haha, <laughs> yes. Love this music. Darth Matango. Darth Vader? No. No. But it'll still hurt. Not nearly as much as other enemies. Alright. Now, fortunately, because I chose the Rune Maiden route, I should have an easier time killing these bosses than I would if I were a Valkyrie. Why? Well... Hopefully, I can get in my debuffs before they uh, cast their counter magic, or at least this one in particular. But, well, we'll see. Ooh, what do you have for me? Stardust Herb. Eh, I already have 99 of those. Or, or 108. 9 in my inventory, 9 in my spares. Or 99 in my spare. Oh, crap. Now, be careful. The enemies in this area can be brutal, especially if you're not prepared. In my opinion, the first god beast is probably going to be your hardest. Uh, simply because... Well, you don't have, you still have the equipment from the previous area. I should have probably grinded up to level 30, or 28, but nah, I'll be fine. I have debuffs on my side. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, crap. Heal up for uh, that lady B, or gal B, or whatever she's called in this game. Or in this area. Queen B, be careful of her. She has, she's basically like a Valkyrie. She has access to buffs, she has she has access to some of the most powerful, some of Lisa's most powerful tags. I forget if she's a Vanities or uh, the other light class, light light. She basically can use a level 3 tag and it will kill you dead. Ugh. It's not a pretty sight, viewers. It's not a pretty sight. Robin Leader. I don't know what that does. Oh, maximum HP up. Eh, what little good it'll do against my flying heaven spear! Haha, <laughs> yep. Yeah. See, you died. Take that max HP increase. Why are you not dead, Darth Matango? I command you to die. Hooah! This area is kind of maze-ish, but I think I remember the way, mostly. And I'm going to pick the wrong path now that I've said that, because I believe I want to go left. Yep, I took the wrong path. Oh well. Yeah, maybe I'll hit level 28 before I hit the boss. That'd be nice. I love this music. <laughs> but you think the music's great now? Oh, you viewers have not heard anything yet. At this point in the game, you get access to some of the awesome music tracks. And the music only gets better from here.
Okay, I do know that north is a dead end, or the upper path. Come on now, destroy the Darth Matango. Uh-oh, that's gonna hurt. Kill him before it hits. Yes! Whew. Die! <laughs> Proben leader, you too shall feel the wrath of the almighty Gungnia. Well, no, I don't have Gungnia, and I never will, because that's a light class weapon, but more on that later. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I didn't know I could go south here. Nifty. Power up! You know... You're making me really nervous with that. I don't want you to use a level 3 tech, so... Power down. And the best part about power up and power down is that they don't... It's not like when by casting, uh... Or, yeah, she casts power up to increase her attack by 20%. Well, when I cast power down, it returns her... Or, not only will her stack... Uh, Attack stat go down to the original, it'll go down to 20% of what it originally was, so that's quite nice. So it's not like they cancel each other out, it's more like they override each other. So that's nifty, and you can do the same thing, like if they cast uh, power down on me, I can cast power up on myself and I'll have my 20% attack increase. Oh crap! Death! Death's in the ring! I hate it when death... If I hit death on this trap chest, it's, I'm screwed, so I'm, I'm gonna aim down here. Stay away from death, viewers. It will end your run in a heartbeat. I've had, I've had grinding sessions uh, in previous test runs where I've lost three or four levels of, of progress because I didn't save before I hit a death chest. It was quite annoying. Uh, yeah, the that's one particularly nasty thing they do with some trap chests in this game. But if I weren't after weapon armor season late game, I wouldn't have had to worry about it. But I was, so I had to be. Hee hee hee. Death to Darth Matango. Okay, so I've increased your dexterity, your strength, and your luck. We'll work on your piety. On your piety. Because most enemies use intelligence-based magic. And actually, at this point, it really doesn't... Oh, come on, game! Really? That many deaths? Thank goodness I had that ring of okays to focus on. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, why, game? Why? Flying Heaven Spear! Haha, <laughs> take that with your protect upset. Yeah. How much XP do I need to level? Am I close? Or am I way off? I am. Still in Salamander State. Oh, I'm way off. I won't hit uh, level 28 before I fight the boss. That was wishful thinking. At least I'm heading the right way. Fortunately, most of the paths in this game dead end only after one screen. Oh, Starshot Spear. Ow, 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 ow. Holy crap. See, that did almost 300 damage to me, viewers. Or, yeah, three, 275. Holy crap. Starshot Spear. Yeah, that's that's a Vanity's attack. Oh, that hurts. The Vanities was the uh, first single character challenge I ever did. And that's uh, Lisa's Light Light class. So I went to Valkyrie and then I chose the Light class after that. And yeah, we're gonna use this and save. I'm too far now to risk it. I've been playing for about 10 minutes, okay. And we'll just skip you and go down here. And we'll 
kill you guys because I think it's in the next room, but I'm not positive. And the thing coming up can kill you. Of course, that's true of all the bosses in this game. I haven't met a boss yet that can't kill me. Oh, except for maybe the Full Metal Hugger. I don't think I've ever lost that guy. Mm, pardon me. Okay, let me make sure I have my items in a check. Uh, load up on Pocket and Chocolates and Round Drops. There we go. Alright. Think we're ready. If you thought the music was good before, viewers... Okay, this is... Eh, this is still a good track, but not the one I was expecting. Ms. Poem. First things first. We want to get everything... Well, actually, power down was kind of a waste. But we want to establish our debuffs. So... Power down. Mind down is... No, not speed down. Speed down is useless. Mind down is more important than power down. Oh, crap. You've got counter magic on. Will this still go through? I don't think it will. Oh, well, I think it went through. Maybe it only reflects uh, other attacks? Oh, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Yeah, that's right. Kill Carly. I don't care about her. Oh, that did go through. That would normally dealt a lot more damage. Sweet. Okay, so we got all the three stats down. Let's just use this in case those did reflect upon me, but I don't think they did. And, yeah, let's go after Ms. Pole. Did I use power down? I did use protect down. At least I thought I did. Alright. Time for a long battle of attrition. He has no counterattacks, so you don't have to worry about that. So just use your most powerful attacks, use whatever you feel like using. Just don't use Dryad spells, because he will absorb them. As far as I know, he doesn't have a weakness. And Carly's dead. Flying Heaven Spear! <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll stop doing that for this battle. Just because it's going on way too long. <laughs> It'll be going on for a while. Heal mm, up, or Poopy Grass. Please and thank you. Kill Stinger. Oh, this is gonna hurt. There is one more healing item I could buy if I ever went to buy Zell, but eh, not right now. For the final boss, yeah, but not right now. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, actually, no, I'll be fine. Nothing he can do to me deals over 300, over 250 damage, so I'll be safe. The worst thing he can do is about 200 damage. Alright, thank you. And eh, let's just throw a couple of round drops there while I'm at it. Or just one. Ow, 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 ow. Booyah! Okay, now this is another instance where we need to heal. Yep. And you he's never going to run out of MP viewers. So you can't try and depend on something like that. I don't know how those all miss, but I am happy they all miss. Flying Heaven Spear! Okay, maybe I'll say it some more times. I lied, viewers. I'm sorry. I have a problem. 
Still really catchy music. Uh, the god, all the god beasts have, uh, well, they don't all have unique tracks, but the the god beasts themselves have unique tracks from other bosses. Like, I think there's three different tracks that the god beasts use. I think, last time I checked. I thought it was three. And it's unique to any other music in the game, as far as I can remember. Oh, come on, I was just getting ready to use my Flying Heaven Spear yet again. Uh, well, I guess I'll take a nap. At least it's not bloody Zinker! Uh, she still haunts me, viewers. I may have won the battle, but she... <laughs> she still haunts me. The war is not yet over, bloody Zinker. Ugh. At least Angela can cast diamond missiles. Ow, ow, ow. Flying Heaven Spear! Oh, did that not hit? Oh, buddy. You just made me angry. I was supposed to hit you. Flying Heaven Spear! Hey, I just didn't yell enough last time. That was the problem. Ow. Okay, this episode's gonna go on... Well, this is gonna be a long episode. I can just feel it now. Well, of course, I felt that the moment I encountered the God Beast, but still. I got excited there. I thought that might have been a uh, death explosion, but no, no, it's just a kill stinger animation. Not the first time I've fallen for that. It's me and my wishful thinking. Lying Heaven Spear! Now you can, now as I was saying earlier, you can do these god beasts in any order. Uh, they won't matter. The because what happens is the enemy levels, they'll increase with every god beast that you kill. So I was fighting enemies that were level 28 in this forest. Had I killed a different god beast and then come to this forest, all the enemies would be level 30. And if I killed a second god beast, all the enemy levels would be 32. So that's kind of nifty. I like how they handled that. That lets you do these in any order. I have my own order established. Uh, I know some people say there's a certain order they recommend you doing it in, but... Screw that noise. I'll do these in the order I want. Besides, I have a... I know which one I'm saving for last because it's, well, my personal favorite. <laughs> Ow. Jerk. Hey, hey, hey! Don't do that! Please let this be the finishing blow. Nope. Just gonna put me to sleep again. That's great. Yeah, Miss Poem, you. I'm glad I'm killing you first. Just because that 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 junk don't fly, man. That junk don't fly. I do admit, Killsinger has a nifty animation. So you have that going for you. Did I get protect down in the sky? I don't, I don't think I did. Or if I did, I'm glad I did because, man, that should have been rough without that. Let's try that again, shall we? Just in case. I don't know, I feel paranoid. Defense power down. Okay. Okay, so he does have a counter attack to magic, but it's just counter spell, so you know, it doesn't really apply. Come on. Something wake me up, please. Or I can just, you know, nap. Whatever. Thank you. Let's get the brown drop going. Okay, I think I... I don't think I did have protect down on him. Oh, we'll find out when I do my... 
just had to interrupt me, did you, Miss Bolt? Had to interrupt me. Let's see, we'll find out when I do my flying heaven spear! Okay, yeah, I did have protect down on him. Okay. I guess that's something to be thankful for. That's why I'm doing uh, damage up in the 80s per hit. I think instead I'd be doing damage in the 60s, maybe 40s. Oh no, that would require his defense went down by half. Well, no, no, not technically, because remember it's one point of defense equals one point of damage, so yeah. Ooh, man, good thing I have all these. And good thing I'm not using buffs on myself, so that Stardust Herbs are actually remotely useful! <laughs> I can't tell how many times I have, uh, or how long it took me to realize my, the Stardust Herbs were getting rid of the buffs I cast on myself when I was a light class lease. And some people saying that a light class lease is a superior class for a single character challenge. I say, well, it has its advantages, but I don't know. The, the fact that Stardust Herbs can now be used makes Dark Class that much more useful. And the, fa and the fact that you can buy scales from the Vizel Black Market, which basically do the buffs that you do with lease anyways. Or light class lease, so yeah. The Valkyrie. It's on a Rune Maiden is my choice for the... Well, Dark class is my choice. I forget which one the other class is going. Well, I know what class I'm going to pick next, but I forget the reasoning I had behind it. Come on now. We've... Come on. Die soon, Ms. Palm. I've been fighting you for 11 minutes. Die already. Don't tell me this is going to be like Gildervine. What is it with you and these Dryad monsters taking me forever to kill? At least I stocked up on chocolate and round drops. Ow. Ooh. Another one of those. I don't want to go below 150. That's just a terrible, terrible idea. STOP DOING THAT! Uh, let's use another round drop just because. Why not? Flying Heaven Spear! Oh, come on. Flying Heaven Spear, dang it! Thank you! Okay, I think the fact that he used a counter magic without me using a spell, I think means that he's 75% uh, of the way through. Uh. Mm, pardon me. Oh, crap. I may have just screwed myself over. I didn't heal fast enough. Oh, wow. That's, uh... Talk about close call viewers. Dang. Man. <laughs> oh, Sven, you're living life on the edge. Edge of sanity, edge of reason? Not sure which one of those. I think they both apply. Ooh. Alright. Weepy grass. Help me. Don't want to be poisoned. Alright. Flying Heaven Spear of Death! Oh, I was hoping that would be the finishing blow. Now maybe if I just yelled out of death, it would have killed him, you know? Oh, come on now. I was avoiding you earlier. Why did you have to hit me then? Oh, ooh, I'm out of, uh, out of round drops. It's not good. Alright, one more hit and we're using a chocolate. Using a chocolate. Come on. Actually, yeah. No, chocolate. Yeah, we'll use my last chocolate. Everything else is honey drinks. Whew. Yeah, these, uh, God Feast fights, they're, they're long. They're not hard, but they're long. Only one of them is actually a challenge, I think. Alright. Flying Heaven Spear of Death. Oh, come on. Die already, you jerk. Ow, 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 ow. No. Ow, oof. Okay, honey drink first and foremost. And now we heal up the status ailment. There we go. Whew. Yeah, yeah, there. This is a bit of a long fight. 
Holy crap, I'm recording for 25 minutes, and 15 minutes of this has been the boss. Thank you! Oh, ha ha! Booyah! Single character challenge run against Ms. Palm. Booyah! He is dead. Wait, tentacles are still there. Nope, they're gone. Ha ha ha! Yeah! Victory! The God Beast power will increase over time. Let's hurry to the other seven. Yep. Alright, and this warps us to the beginning of the dungeon. And after you beat your first God Beast... Hey! It's Nick... Oh, it's Nikita. Distant relative of Nikita. Oh, well, that's sad. Alright. Oh, let's buy ourselves a new weapon. The Wolf Fang... Yeah. Wolf Fang Gun, or Wolf Fang Fist. Sorry, I'm thinking of the rift tracks there. And Nikita? Oh, no, Josephine. Nikita's lover, ah, Or once was. Poor, poor, uh, uh, Josephine. Had to think about her name there. Anyways, she sells new armor, so let's get ourselves some rune earrings. Quite nice. A horn crest, also quite nice. And a Yotz de Moran. No clue. But yeah, haha. <laughs> now I have new armor. And since this is a single character challenge run, money is not an issue like it would be. Heck yeah. So let's just see my stats real quick before we call this a video. Oh yeah. Oh, that's sexy. Ah, beautiful. All right. Anywho, uh, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Staking and Setsu 3, everyone. Next time we meet, we head to the next God Beast. Laters!